Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, mothers, fathers, daughters, sons, brothers and sisters. This is episode 5 of the Showcase Showdown Challenge. So we gained 28 points, which puts us back on 67. We were at 68 two episodes ago, so we're getting back towards where I should be, you could argue. So this episode should be considerably more difficult than the last one. Uh, it's a shame. In some cars I'm really going to miss not doing more than once. That McLaren was a prime example. That was a beautiful car to drive. But that is that is the rules I've set upon myself. So let us see what we are going to be doing in this episode. In episode 5, it is going to be... Ooh. Oh, she's leaving again. <laughs> okay, for the... I have a feeling I... Did a group five at one of the Osher sleep. I think it was the. It might have been B actually. Wasn't the skyline though. That's going to be interesting. Oh no, no, we're going to lose it. Oh no, hang on, it's going to be rally cross, so I won't lose too many points at least. That's at least one kind of safety net that I've got for myself. I won't be losing too many points in the rally cross cars that we know I'm terrible with. Won't gain too many as well, like the uh, the Audi from Group B I did in episode one, but. Uh, I stand to lose more points than gain overall in the run across category. Okay. Oscherschleben B. So that's probably going to reduce the oh no, same number of opponents. So we'll be starting in 15th again. Uh, so first, uh, well, the only car on this one's going to be the Nissan Skyline Super Silhouette. Where is it? There it is. 640 brake horsepower, so quite a beast to be taking around this little circuit. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll give it a go. Um, I've forgotten what this cuts out. Oh, yeah, that um, that kind of hairpin. You do, you do a hairpin that replaces the two left, two left corners and then that 270 degree bit. I know what I mean. <laughs> No records available for this group five. Okay, so we should be in 15th. Yes, we are. Right. I don't have the luxury of driver aids this time. Oh, -ho. big clunk that went on next to me. And of course, the, dr the AI are going to be much faster. Oh dear, that's not good. Cars are not supposed to do that. Oh, come on. Does not like pulling away from stationary too well, is it? I say it doesn't like wheel spins a lot. Ooh. Yeah, you've got to be much more delicate with the right foot. Oh, easy lock, easy to lock on the brakes as well. Ooh. Talking about being nervous of the car, I was nervous of that McLaren to start with. I'm terrified of this thing. I don't think I'll be winning this one. same place as we did in the P1. Just much more delicate on the brake pedal. Damn floor in the corners. It will not hold. I don't know which is easier to lock up the brakes or to, to spin the spin the rear wheels in this car. Oh dive bomb again. Right. Come on. It's a shame in a way that that pillar is right where it is. 
which of course you can't help, that's the design of the car. It just happens to be right where you want to look for some of the corners. I think that's the BMW ahead, Porsche behind, and the BMW 320. I remember rightly, we had a situation here where I had a car that I think was actually that one ahead of us. That, um, oh, steering bug again. So click away, click back. Um, I think the one ahead was the car I had, which is an insane, you know, 900 brake horsepower monster here. But it was, I don't think it was this version of the track actually. I think it was actually C, the one that's even smaller. And uh, Hamish had the BMW, which is the one behind me. It's much, much lighter. Oh. Oh. Insane number of horses in these cars. You should not be overtaking there. <laughs> You'd have a few drivers out of the world with you to try and use like that. Come back. Okay. We stand to put wow, there's a big gap. Three cars up and then a quite a sizable gap to the ones ahead of them. But then the rest of the field oh, looking up the map. Wasn't paying attention to the BMW I was closing it up. A frame. <laughs> She's kind of trying to keep the apex uh, bit, you know, the rumble strip in the view of oh, that corner. It doesn't work. Uh, that was a clunk. Now we're in the position back. Not really what you should do going sideways through these corners. Right, halfway through, and I'm still in the black. As I'm familiar with that phrase, it means you're in a positive. You've gained more than you've lost. You're in the red, it's the other way around. When you start to get used to when the turbo is likely to try to kill you, Empty. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Bang! There he goes. Almost done. But like I say, when you start to get accustomed to things like that, oops, sorry, Porsche. You do start to really get a feel for how these cars are supposed to be driven. And that's kind of what I want to achieve in this challenge. Hence the showcase element. I want to show how these cars are, you know, in the right circumstances can be really, really good. Some of them I'm never going to showcase properly, like the Leech Unit, like the Rallycross cars. I'm just no good with them. But they're in this challenge. The only car I've taken out is the Go Kart. For a couple of reasons, it's only really applicable to the Go Kart tracks, which no other car. Is going to be good at so it's a little bit too exclusive and plus having the go kart in there actually gave me an odd number of cars so i would either have to run an episode of one car on its own or have a three car episode somewhere but it was more to do with the fact that no other car could run around go kart tracks so i decided to omit the go kart no love for the little cart Every lap so far, I think I've 
have the tail kick out on that last turn. Listen to that big roar of the Nissan ahead. It's a glorious car to drive. It's actually quite, it grips quite well, but in the turbo mag, like a lot of the Group 5s, is uh, very noticeable. certainly be the moderate and failing to wait. And a very stern turning off probably by my coordinator. Was that a new racing incident? Wow. 1091 with a possible apparently 108 one. This is the penultimate map then. We've been slowly gaining up to the leaders. I've really been thinking about what position I'm in. Which is good, because sometimes when I do that, it's like, ooh, wow, I'm doing really well, and off I go. Final lap then, and the last four are directly ahead of me. And I don't think I'm going to get all of them. It will be a very lunatic dive bomb to try and claim that many like that. Oh, I don't know where that beamer went. Oh dear, he's in the wall. Two positions I've, I've gained. Oh no! That's karma for you. I was going to say two positions I've gained illegitimately, but. The game then spins me out. Denying me a podium, deserved or not. Once you've got a hang of the turbo lag, that is a great fun car to drive. Gotta treat it gently. What a car! That was fabulous! Really, really enjoyed that. Oh dear, that, where did that blue BMW go? Ooh, ouch. Chris Mosley, you have every right to be angry with me. So, that was my lap. 1091. It wasn't too far off. It was the quickest, but not by too much. Okay, it's now time for the mini, oh dear, around the Daytona International Speedway Rallycross. Right. Mini, whoops, wrong way. Uh, mini, 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 mini. Mini, mini. Rally Daytona. Rallycross circuit. Is this the one I did? Oh no, we've already done this one. So we've got this one, uh, this one's popped up again, but then there are only half a dozen or so Rallycross circuits, so... So this is the one we did in the Audi. I don't think I'm going to have the same result as I did in the Audi. I won rather comfortably in that car. I doubt I'm going to face the same again. Unsurprisingly, there's a time set in this combination. I run rally across cars. I run rally across circuits. I doubt there's probably not many combinations, car track combinations, that don't have combinations, don't have time set for them. Okay. 
three to gain, two to lose. I did wander outside of the track, so... Ooh. I was going to say there can't be blues on the, the thing, surely. I still haven't really got the hang of that. I thought it would do. I'm not going to get any uh, ideas of WRC exits somehow. Commit to a line and you know you know it's going wrong a long time before it goes wrong. Oh, that's the water again. Mm -hmm. 
And now we have the kids. <laughs> Get so hot, you just get nothing out. It goes from bad to disastrous. Traditional fashion threw it all away. No, uh, no points of style, sadly. Best I can hope for is just not to be banned. I'm only going to be losing two points. Which, of course, there's nothing I can do anything about. It's been Hamish accidentally proved once having more than six cars on a radical circuit with AI is uh, fairly disastrous. I can't remember how we managed it. I don't even know if it's still possible. Perhaps you do have since that episode. That was a very long time ago. Oh! I 
confirm or deny that I'm contemplating doing. Oops! Be lap. I'm going to have to inadvertently cut that to the chicane. Uh, that corner, rather. Then coming past me on the pull down, that doesn't count. My guys, I'm still racing. Howdy! Woohoo! <laughs> They'd already finished, so that doesn't count as being lapped. My best lap was the quickest. It was. My fastest lap was actually the fastest of all of them. Well, well. I was able to do some decent laps in the mini at least, but that is it for this episode. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff. And we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.